Now for many an approaching storm might be inconvenient, but for others severe weather can bring about a lot of anxiety. Meteorologist Matt Willoughby joins us live in studio now and Matt you spoke with an expert today who had some tips on dealing with fear when it comes to these storms. Yeah, Jeff, weather is going to happen. We uh, even though we know that, of course, but there are ways to empower yourself uh, through knowledge and preparation to help deal uh, with the anxiety. In our area, we see storms every year, and unfortunately, there's nothing we can do to stop them. But becoming more aware of when and how storms form could be the difference in combating severe weather anxiety. Mother Nature can be unpredictable at times, and there's so much, so much that we have control over. And Mother Nature, we don't necessarily have control over what's going to be happening. So again, all of us feel that worry a lot, and we're not really sure exactly what next steps we have to take. So what can you do to empower yourself not to be scared of severe weather? The best thing that we can do is to stay informed, but not to over obsess what's happening um, or what could be happening. Again, we have to keep in mind what we have control over and what we don't. And the things that we do have control over is to make sure that we're prepared, make sure that if we have an emer emergency preparedness plan in place, that we utilize it. But if you have family or friends that are scared of weather, how do you keep them calm? I think checking in with them to check in just emotionally to see how they're doing, but then also maybe helping them have a little bit more sense of control in their life. So if they don't have a plan in place to maybe help them come up with that, because I think that's going to make that person feel a little bit more in control of what's happening around them. Reed says learning about weather can actually be helpful with fighting anxiety. Yeah, I think with children, sometimes the fear of the unknown um, scares them. So by teaching them a little bit more about what Mother Nature is and what thunderstorms and what rain and how it all works together um, will give the children a little bit better understanding that some things that here in Mother Nature are natural and they were meant to be and um, that it's not as scary as it should be. Well, Pormenica says a few coping mechanisms you can follow is being informed but not obsessed with weather and having an emergency plan in place as we head throughout the severe weather season. Reporting in studio, I'm meteorologist Matt Willoughby for W2All 11.